Hi guys, I'm Isa Iglesias. And I'm Christina Alpad. And welcome to The Spill, by the Manila Times CSI Celebrity Style Inspiration, where we will see kung maganda or nega ba ang mga nangyari sa showbiz in the past week. Kaya, let's get started right now. Following last week's match talk about Miss Universe competition, the Manila Times Entertainment was able to catch up with Miss Universe 2015 Kia Wordsta. Quinty was asked about the competition plus the advice she gave Rabia Mateo and the newly crowned Miss Universe Andrea Meza of Mexico. Let's watch this. I already messaged her, by the way, right after the competition. I messaged her a few times, um, and she replied, "She's she's she's fine. Like she's doing well." Um, I advised her to. Sabi ko, um, sabi ko, honestly, take your time because this, you know, masakit naman talaga, and um, and I know how much she worked hard for it. So I said. Take your time. Everything you're feeling right now is for totally normal, and we're here for you. You're not gonna go through this alone, and we're all gonna be here for you to support you. And I'm sure that you will have a career waiting for you here in the Philippines. Um, Rabia, she's very down to earth. She's very relatable. She's funny, and hindi ako nagda-doubt na she's already a big star. But I know that. Sisi, lalo pa, mas lalo pa siyang sisikat. More people are gonna get to know her. More people are gonna love her. Opportunities are coming her way. And, di ba nga yung, na, yung, yung, yung gown niya is yellow, yung parang sun? Feeling ko as bright as the sun, yung future niya. Oh, I love that. Okay. Make sure Rowia hears about this as well. We've got one final question. <laughs> What is that one question that you want to ask the new Miss Universe? We're talking What's about Miss big? Mexico. Yeah. I mean, I um, I've yet to meet her in person. Although nakapag uh, message na kami on social media uh, privately ganyan. Um, I'm excited to meet her in person. I my advice is always the same for all the new winners is. Back up your files. I know, kasi maraming advice na enjoy, it, live in the moment, ganyan. Marami ng tao magsasabi sa'yo nun, but the real advice is back up your files because I actually lost a lot of my pictures oh. halfway through my reign because I didn't back up my files and I'll never get those pictures and memories back. So, real advice, girl. Um, invest in a nice camera, back up your files, and you, you, the memories will stay forever. Speaking of the recent Miss Universe, naging mainit ang sagutan ng world-renowned Filipino designer Michael Cinco at MG Mode Communications, publicist ng Miss Universe Canada or MUC. Over the weekend, the designer called out MUC team, including candidate Nova Stevens, matapos mag-comment ng MG Mode sa Instagram that Cinco's gowns for Stevens reportedly arrived late and this did not fit. Sa kanyang explosive Facebook post, isa-isang sinagot ni Cinco ang mga paratang ng MG Mode. Hindi daw late ang gowns and they all fit. Deretsahan din siyang sumagot sa attacks na his team allegedly sabotaged Steven's chances of winning. He called this absurd. Minungkahi din niyang huwag nang humingi ng tulong ang organization sa Filipino designers next time. Stevens also took to Instagram to share her side. Narito ang parte ng kanyang statement. I just want you guys to stop fighting. I want this to be taken privately. I don't think you are both deserving of this. It's it's not fair to all of your hard work. I don't, and I want to question any of your integrities because I stand behind the three of you. I think you are all great individuals, and I just thought, I just want that to be the last thing to remember. Is like, wow, Michael's amazing. Wow, Keith McGill are amazing. That's all I want because you are amazing individuals. So for all of you online, please don't don't give into the drama. It's not worth it. Let's not let's not spread more negativity. Let's just spread love. On a happier entertainment news, superstar boy band BTS released their comeback single and accompanying music video Butter. This is their second full English song following last year's Grammy-nominated Dynamite. 
Butter is a light-hearted dance pop song perfect for the summer vibes. The music video broke YouTube records for the most views in 24 hours with 100 million views. It featured the band's signature upbeat choreography and has styles and scenes that they have never tried before. Congratulations, BTS, and don't forget to stream Butter. And to end our spill this week on a high note, Netflix re recently released the trailer for Trece, the anime series based on the award-winning Filipino comic book. Hindi lang isa, but three trailers ang nilabas in Filipino, English, and Japanese. Set in an alternate Manila where the mythical creatures of Philippine folklore live among humans, the story follows Alexandra Trece who finds herself going head-to-head -head with supernatural beings. Liza Soberano will be voicing Alexandra in the local version, habang si Phil Canadian Shane Mitchell ang magbuboses kay Alexandra sa international version. We are so excited for Tress's premiere on June 11. But in the meantime, let's watch the trailer for Tress on YouTube. And that's it for this week's top showbiz news. But if you're wondering what to put on your watch list next, here's our Manila Times pop culture columnist and reviewer Karen Kanawitz for her suggestion. Hi, it's Wednesday. You're watching CSI. This is Watch List with Karen, and I'm with Hank. And this is going to be a bit weird because this is a watch list, but it's also a don't watch list. And we are talking about something new that just dropped, and it is. Zack Snyder's Army of the Dead. Now, normally, Zack Snyder, for me, is hit or miss. In this mostly case... Miss. For me, mostly miss. <laughs> mostly miss for Karen. For okay. me, hit or miss. Okay. In this case, yeah, it's more miss than hit. Right? I mean... Hala, identity crisis. Are you a zombie movie? Are you a heist movie? Zach, where are you going with it? Or are this, you right? a drama movie, which you can cut out? They had so much drama, but it's it, it, you know, it, where are you going to go, right? Mga and, and mother and daughter some... and father and daughter and separate. Why? <laughs> sometimes these things can be mixed together and put them together and it works. But Zack Snyder, sorry, this time, not so good. It's like Netflix gave you a bunch of money. Go ahead, buddy. Do this and kind of like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know, Dave almost Bautista. Yep, yeah. almost. Almost. Uh, Dave Bautista. I love Dave Bautista. Filipino American actor. We know him from Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, Drax the Destroyer. Ugh, I wish they could just give him the same amount of lines they gave him in Guardians. <laughs> you know, fell short, fell short. And uh, a raccoon. <laughs> good effort, though. Good effort. You see him selling it. Yes. He says, we're not buying. Yes. Right? Yeah. He, he is, you see him really trying to sell it, not buying. Um, one of the hits, I have to say, special effects. Not too bad. I mean, it's par for the course for a zombie movie. And There's a zombie that. tiger. A little bit of a spoiler. There's a zombie tiger, yeah. but... Yeah, you know, the soundtrack's you know, a bonus, I think. The, at the yeah, end, oh, okay, yeah. by the crown, bad moon, right? You know the the the, the monster movie hits. I, but yeah, I didn't I didn't like the versions. Ah, okay. They were they got some 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 you know, know more know. more popular hits and stuff like like I I didn't like what they did with the doors. Uh, they did the at doors the end, covered. Right, somebody covered cover. the doors. I'm like, right, right. Uh, and yeah, uh, so it just you know it, it just falls just a little bit short uh, of, for so me on every good reviews in every... the US, but personally, yeah. So what we'll do is we will suggest a watch list. So mine would be watch Oceans Eleven, just rewatch it and just rewatch Aliens because they get elements from both films, but both films of course have um, superior quality. So go get your Betamax or your DVD or your. <laughs> copies of these and <laughs> if you can find your old betamax vhs and dvds <laughs> of, of aliens <laughs> or of oceans 11 my suggestion would be just go on over just click on over to ne on netflix right it's probably right next to army of the dead right just click on serpent right it's it's uh it is about uh, that that mass murderer serial killer in the 70s. It's based on true story. Um, it's eight episodes. Uh, it's BBC and Netflix. It 
It's excellent. I, I enjoyed it. Uh, it's very, it, it really reminds you of, of, well, reminds me of what Southeast Asia was like in the 70s. I mean, you really feel that vibe. I mean, not just, not just the hippies, you've got diplomat, the expats in Southeast Asia. I mean, it, it really has that, it, it captures it. It captures the moment and the era. Okay, so we don't have much time left. You think they could have had an easier time catching him with Facebook and the internet? Definitely. <laughs> Definitely they would have. Right? I mean he was a I mean the, the, the title of the of the show is The Serpent and this he was exactly that. He was a snake. Right? I mean he would he would also poison his victims. That was one of his uh, MOs. Um yeah, and he was also very slippery and very I mean it just fits. You okay. know, so we've got five minutes almost would... up, so that's it for this week. Um, see you next time. And there's something exciting on June 11, which we're gonna talk about, but in another episode. We'll be back in June 11. <laughs> and <we'll> be... <laughs> okay. Babu. Bye. Thank you so much for joining us here on the spell by TMP CSI. Abangan si Sanya Lopez on the Manila Time CSI tomorrow at 8 p.m. At don't forget to follow us sa mga social media accounts namin. That's at TMT CSI on Twitter and Instagram and the Manila Times on YouTube, Facebook, and Daily Motion. For audio-exclusive content, make sure to follow us on Spotify. See you let next Wednesday, CSIers. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye! For more episodes featuring your favorite artistas, do subscribe to the Manila Times YouTube, Facebook, and Daily Motion page. And don't forget to follow us at TMT CSI on Twitter and Instagram for more updates. Bye!